Good morning, everybody. Well, it's getting that time of year again. The snow has started to melt in most of the search areas, and I think like a lot of you, we are getting ready to start our plan for our first search of the season coming up probably maybe six weeks or so. But uh, I was just gonna touch base a little bit with you. I cannot believe that this will be our third search season. We started out searching, well, we did a recon up by Northern New Mexico, and then we went into uh, Yellowstone from there, searched from Ennis down the Madison River, Bear Trap Canyon, we really loved that area. We went into Yellowstone Park, searched around there, and then from there, West Yellowstone, Gardner. We loved Gardner a lot too. Uh, we've been to Gardner two times now. Then we went in through, uh, back through Yellowstone and up through Hebgen Lake and Earthquake Lake. And that was a lot of fun to see where Skippy landed his plane on the lake there. We went to, from there, we went into northern New Mexico, Colorado, and searched up there. Love that area. And then we went the next time up through uh, the top of Montana, Lewis and Clark Museum, drove Lewis and Clark through Lewis and Clark National Highway. And I had thought about Pompey's Pillar being maybe uh, the blaze, but I don't think that anymore. Uh, I just thought it was an interesting uh, thing to have Clark's name inscribed on the rock from so many years ago. And since Forrest Fenn, you know, talked about Lewis and Clark in his book, I thought, well, you know, it's worth a shot. Then from there, we went down back into Gardner again. Uh, I got to go in Boiling River and it is really boiling hot. That's a, a great area. We had, uh, a search going into uh, Yankee Jim Canyon and back over there. Uh, it didn't pan out for us, but who knows, maybe uh, somewhere down the line we'll go back over there again. Um, we went back through Lamar Valley where the Lamar Ranger Station was. And I know there's a lot of people that uh, like that area. It's a gorgeous area. I'll never get uh, tired of seeing the uh, bison roam through that area. Loved it, loved it. It's a gorgeous area. We went, drove up uh, Chief Joseph Scenic Byway and looked around up there. Uh, heard of other people that have solves up in that area. We went into Cody, Wyoming, went to the Buffalo Bill Museum. I would highly suggest going there. We got to see um, some of the items that uh, uh, Forrest Fenn and his wife have donated to the museum. We saw the Joseph Sharp uh, cabin there. Um, great time, great time. We'll probably go back there again. Drove through Thermopolis on the way out and Wind River Canyon. Did not get to see Kerwin this time. Maybe next time we'll get to see Kerwin. There is some solves up in that area that I want to check out. Um, went through uh, Landers where Forrest Finn had flown in and out of there when he was still flying his plane. Went and stopped the sinks at Poposha and that was a very interesting area there. And then uh, went on out through uh, Utah and back home to California. Went into Colorado again and uh, up in that area, came back through New Mexico. We also had done a trip through um, Taos and uh, looked at uh, the museums up there and uh, Nikolai Fashion Museum. And uh, as we know, Forrest Finn did write a book about uh, Nikolai Fashion. So that was uh, a lot of fun to go and retrace some of Forrest Finn's steps. But this time, we're taking a trip, the first trip, we're gonna go into Wyoming and look at some of the areas that we didn't get to see 
last time or that we really didn't get to check out very well. So, um, and then there was a, a little bit of stuff on the message boards about Wyoming and, uh, you know, it was just uh, kind of interesting, the new uh, video that Davio had put out. Um, well, it's not new, but he w got access through the, the uh, museum and uh, just kind of interesting to see this video sparked our uh, curiosity a little bit more of Wyoming. So we will go up there and, and check on that. Uh, I don't know if you guys got a chance to see the marathon chat over the weekend with the uh, Caldazars and K-Pro, but that was really cool. I got to pop in and out a couple of times on there and uh, see what was going on. Uh, unfortunately, I couldn't participate in that. We were busy that day, but uh, it looked like it was a lot of fun and a very good success for them. So uh, thumbs up for you guys that uh, looking forward to another one of those. Anyways, that's going to be our plans for the near future. We're getting the uh, motorhome ready to take off on uh, some of our trips and Maybe one of these days when we have more time. We are retired, but we still have other things to do too. Uh, we'd like to go full time sometime and um, be able to go and search as long as we want and wherever we want. So, but I wish everybody luck on this new search season and I hope somebody does find a treasure. That would be really exciting, really exciting for 2019. So good luck everybody out there and uh, We'll catch up with you down the road. Bye.